I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We are discussing some applications to geometry. Here is a question for you. Prove that the three medians of a triangle meet in a point that divides each median in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So in this particular proof, I am going to use a formula which we derived and which is called a section formula or division of line segment formula, right? So here is the formula which we are going to use now. So if I have a line segment which is divided by a point P in the ratio of M is to N, then O to P is given as N over M plus N times OA plus M over M plus N times OB. So this is a very standard formula which is always utilized whenever we talk about division of a line segment. So I'd like you to make a note of this formula and we are going to utilize it in the proof for the given question. Perfect. I'll also provide you with a link so that you can always uh, look into the proof of this particular formula, right? Okay, now let's try to answer the question. We are given a triangle and then we want to prove that the medians of this triangle will be divided in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So let's sketch one triangle here and let's call it triangle ABC. Okay, so we have a triangle ABC. And let us say that A is connected to the midpoint of BC. So let's say this is our midpoint of BC and we join A to midpoint and this point is D for us. Correct. Since D is a midpoint, we know BD is equal to DC. Now, what we have done here is we have taken D is midpoint of of BC, correct? Now join A to D and take a point on AD which we'll call as G. G is for gravity. This point is also called centroid and therefore normally for centroid we write G, right? So center of gravity actually acts at this point. Right. Now, we'll take a point G so that AG and GD are in the ratio of 2 is to 1. You get an idea. So, take, let G be on AD such that A to G is to G to D is equal to 2 is to 1, right? I'm not saying this is the the point where the medians intersect or this is the centroid, but I'm just taking a point G, right? And I'm joining A to the midpoint. Now on that median, of course AD is a median, we have a point G which divides AD in the ratio of 2 is to 1, okay? What we need to prove here is that for all such medians, that G point is common. This is what we need to prove. So to prove it, what we will do here is, as we did in the derivation of our formula for the line segment, we'll consider an external point O and kind of repeat this formula and find what is O to G, right? That is the strategy. So now we'll consider a point O, which is, Let's say outside this triangle, okay, so let's consider a point O here, external point. You can say origin. And from O, we want to find what OG is, a position vector, correct? So OG could be written in terms of OA and OD using the section formula, right? Or the division of line segment formula, which I just said. So we can now write OG is equal to, since the division is 1 is to 2 is to 1, 1 over OA, 1 over 1 plus 2 times OA plus 
2 over 1 plus 2 times OD. Correct? So that becomes OG using the formula which I shared with you. Correct? Okay. Now you can rewrite this as 1 over 3 of OA plus 2 over 3 of OD. What is OD equals to? OD is the midpoint of OB and OC. So we know that OD is basically equal to OB plus OC divided by 2. So if I replace this here, we get O to G as equal to one third of OA plus two third of OB plus OC divided by 2. Right? Now, if you open this bracket, this 2 and 2 cancel, correct? So you get OG is equal to one third of OA plus OB plus OC. Do you see that? So this point G could be represented as OA plus OB plus OC, right? Now, as you know, this is the median, right? So O to G is the average of all the three, correct? So that is the median. So what we did here was we took one median and then proved that OG is equal to all this. Is that okay? Now, what you could do is you could take another median, which is on AC from B, right? You can take another median. So let's say this is E. In that case, let's say the point is G dash now for you. So you'll find that OG dash is also equal to OA plus OB plus OC divided by 3. Since these are independent, do you see that? So that could be shown for each median, right? So for each median, we could say. So if I take the midpoint on AB, and let's say this point is F, and let's consider OG dash, some other G, right? So if we have another OG dash, right, some other point on this median, following the same method, we will again show that that is also equal to OA plus OB plus OC divided by 3. So all the three points is same. That means G, G dash and G double dash are exactly same right so therefore we can see that the centroid centroid is a point where the medians intersect centroid divides each median in the ratio of is to 1. Correct? So individually we could show for each median following the same method. Right? So that is how we could prove it. So I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. We will take few more applications where this formula which is known as the section formula or division of a line segment formula will be utilized. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to make your suggestions. Share my videos with your friends and if you like and subscribe to them, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.